Welcome back to episode six of the DSN podcast, your place for everything happening at Dismet Jesuit High School. I'm your producer, Kyle Granquist. With me, we have Jack Lineauer, Cole Grodoff, and Nick Abel. Today, we are talking about winter sports again. Uh, the seasons are over. Unfortunately, fortunately, you know, there were some good seasons, uh, maybe some rough endings, but that being said, winter sports are done and spring sports are coming up, but let's just talk about, let's start it off with hockey. Yeah, um, they had a great year, 12-5-3 and three in the regular season, had some fantastic wins in the postseason, especially that, that state semifinal game against CBC it was one for the ages. Um, they made it all the way. Couldn't quite get the job done against the Slew Junior Billikens. Uh, tough, tough finish, but but overall a really good season. Yeah, um, having a hot goalie is really helpful uh, for winning a state championship. It's kind of what you need. And Brady was phenomenal for us the entire playoffs in a, both four nothing games against Kirkwood, two shutouts there to advance us, and then phenomenal in the CBC. Uh, especially the second game, uh, you know, pushing it to a mini game and then shoot out from there, you know, eventually poke checking away their captain. Um, and Max Belly from SLU just happened to be playing, you know, he got the better of us on, uh, on last Friday and during the state championship. Uh, robbed, robbed our high powered offense of multiple goals, yeah. uh, multiple wide open nets, I think. You know, they had that one save where he. I think he got it with the stick reaching across, yeah. so not the first time uh, that's happened, but unfortunate to say the least. Yeah, I mean, it comes in a time where Slew's just been really good in, in big games. It, it's a tough stat to face, but um, in the last five years, the Spartans have been 0-3 against the Junior Bills in, in state championship hockey games. I, I know Coach Durso would have loved to at least get one of those for sure. Um, I mean, we played as good as we could have, uh, really. I, I mean, we were right there in that game all, the whole way. It was even. Just the third period happened. Uh, we tied it up. Vito Biondo with a, a great shot from the point, got one in. And then Max Extro came down a minute later, got what would be the game-winning goal, making it 2-1, and then an empty netter, unfortunately, ended the Spartan season. Yeah, but take nothing away. I mean, they had a great season all year. Great players, great team. Yeah, I, I don't think the score indicates how close that game was. Um, you know, they, they got a quick one in the first period, uh, and then in the second period nothing happened. But I think the entire game, just about was right there. Yeah. And so, you know, to lose 3-1, someone on the outside might look at that and be like, oh, they got slaughtered or whatever. But – I think it was, you know, right up to the last yeah, minute I think, and a half. I mean, I think we were knocking on the doorstep the right. entire game. Yeah, we pulled the goalie. Even and, with the empty net, we yeah. had one of our better chances. Uh, Belly made a, a great save. He just desperation time threw the pads out and and uh, just did what he could to cover the puck right there. Was, so, uh, there was about four guys in front of the net. Yeah. Any one of them could have put it in. Absolutely. Yeah, I believe we outshot him almost the entire game. Yeah. I remember in the first period, like, looking up at the shots, and it was like seven to nothing. For shots. Do you have the stats on shots? I think uh, it was like twenty-three to seventeen. Yeah, or, or I something saw, like I saw that. twenty-two to seventeen. Okay, so I didn't know if you just had yeah, no. the actual. Should we go to basketball? Yeah, or sure. Should, we, should yeah. we stay on hockey and talk no. a little bit? Well, I mean, thank you for our hockey seniors. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Bunch of really great core group of guys. You, had, you had Lachman and and Vito, who are awesome, along with. You know, you know some Charlie Grease goalie, Charlie Grease. <laughs> mask extraordinaire. Was the, had the best mask I think in, in mid states hockey this year. Absolutely. JD, JD loves the beach theme. Loves the beach. Loves theme. the beach <laughs> theme. Yeah, he had a beautiful goal in uh, in the first semifinal game against CBC. That was that was sick, and then he almost scored again. Which was, he, he had a great playoffs. He really did. Tommy Reuter played phenomenally. Oh, oh. This, uh, very that, hat, that hat trick was awesome. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, my hat was thrown. I, yeah, ice. I can say I've never seen hats get thrown on the ice in a high school hockey game. So yeah, that was that was a great so sight. It was cool to partake that was fun. in that. That was fun. yeah, but yeah, you know he'll, he's just a junior right yeah. now. So I'm excited for the future of the hockey program. A lot of youngsters. You know, we kind of knew that our freshman year, 
uh, when we had Vito and Locks playing in the state championship then, yeah. we knew that they were going to be good this year. And uh, it's cool to see the juniors like Salthouse, uh, Sindelar, Bashi, all those guys um, lead the program next year, and I'm excited for what's going to come. That being said, basketball. Yeah, so basketball, um, I mean, even though basketball is in Class 5, they got stuck in, in uh, Coach Williams even said this, one of the toughest districts, if not the hardest, in, in state this year, uh, Class 5, District 3, and they got, they got put up against a really good Westminster and Cardinal Ritter squad in, in that district. They, they play second um, during the year in the regular season, and then in the district semifinals against Cardinal Ritter, they lost 52-45 to end the year. Um, 19 and nine, just a tough, a tough finish there to to, to end it. Absolutely. Uh, again, score not indicative of the game. Um, they started off really slowly in the first half. Yeah, I'd say. yeah. I don't know. I mean, nothing was dropped. I nothing, mean, nothing. Nothing, nothing was going in. Uh, any floater or layup, just you know, double bounce off the rim and out. Um, and so at half, they were down nine. They were down nine. They were down nine and points. They brought it back and took the lead in the third, in the third, quarter, third quarter for a period and then went in down two in the fourth and just down the stretch. Ritter made some free throws. Spartans missed some shots. Um, Stacker played phenomenal defense on Brian Taylor, who had, who had a, a number of opportunities to just in and out, as you said. I mean – Coming off, it, it was 15-4 to four, about four minutes into the first quarter. And, and then the, the resilience and tenacity the Spartans showed to, to crawl their way and get back in that game was impressive. Just couldn't get it done in, in the fourth. No doubt. Yeah, regardless of the score, that team was fun to watch. Very exciting. Absolutely. I mean, when you have Brian Taylor, uh, one of the best players to ever come out of DeSmet, top 15 in scoring at – Broke his thousand point mark, had five hundred points on the year. I mean, he's gonna play college basketball next year. Um, he's a phenomenal player. It's gonna be exciting to see where he goes. Definitely able to make an impact next year. Yeah. To at uh, University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, but uh, it should be exciting to see what he does in the future. Yeah. And then, I mean, you had a number, a number of senior guys who, who had an impact. Jamal Goins was uh, phenomenal on the defensive and offensive end as our, as our main big man, almost average a double-double, just a great shot blocker as well, did a lot of great things. He had a really tough matchup against the Cardinal Ritter. Yeah, uh, Robert center. Lewis. Uh, Robert Lewis is the thing. He averaged 22 points yeah. per game and, and – the Spartans did a pretty good job of keeping him and Stacker off the score sheet for the most part until that, that fourth quarter where Stacker kind of took over. But uh, that was Coach Williams talked about. I was a game plan, keep them out of it, and we're going to have a shot, and we really did. Yeah. I, I mentioned it to my friend. Uh, I think at halftime I went over to go say hi to him, and he was talking about how R Robert Lewis yep. just floats when he, you know, yeah. when he jumps. He's so big. He's freakishly athletic. Yeah. Uh, He's got a little more weight on him than Bull Bull or John Bull. I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but he just floats. He looked like uh, those old mixtapes of Zion Williamson in high school. Just doesn't even bend his knees and uh, can cock it back. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's great. I mean, he obviously anybody who can average over 20 points a game is a phenomenal basketball player, and, and it showed. And that's why they were able to outlast a really tough Westminster team who had one loss all year yeah. to the DeSmet Spartans um, coming into the postseason. Uh, but they won by two in that district final game. So big win for the Cardinal Ritter Lions, who will look to win their third straight state championship in basketball this year. I firmly believe whoever won District 3, yeah. our district, will win uh, the state championship. Yeah. I think, you know, Webster Groves is a very good team. Uh, there are some other great teams coming out of districts, but I think one of the three, Westminster, Cardinal Ritter, DeSmet, would have won the state championship. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, it's tough because we, we beat both of those teams. Um, we played them each once in the regular season. We beat them both. Just 
I mean, those t the really good battle. You, you could have seen any three of, of us coming Absolutely. coming out of that district on top. Uh, Spartans Spartans had some chances, just couldn't quite get it done. Good season overall, though, for for the basketball team. No doubt. Anybody? All right. Well, uh, let's go to wrestling, the final winter sport, I believe. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately. We are reporting that uh, Jesse Haas did not win the state championship. He made it all the way to the finals um, and came up a, against a very good Westminster, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, Whitfield, Whitfield opponent, um, who ended up being a four-time state champion, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. It's crazy. Uh, 38th person in the country, or in the state, I'm sorry, not in the country. In the state to do that, uh, very incredible feat, um, you know. And, and it would have been nice to obviously have Jesse win win the big one, but second place by no means is uh, far from an accomplishment. So, uh, and um, you know, we're proud of them. We're proud of the other guys who uh, qualified. Yeah, we had quite a few. Uh, I believe we had three. Three. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, Hick Hickson Taylor, not Rickson, as we talked yeah, about last, yeah, that, last that podcast. Was discussed. <laughs> um, Hickson finished sixth place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he placed, which is phenomenal. Um, Evan, Evan Ra is his last name Rouse? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a, he's only a sophomore, um, and he qualified for state this year, uh, which is phenomenal. Huge future ahead for him um and maybe he can capture that elusive state title yeah i mean we've had some wrestlers um in the last couple of years been able to to do it and jesse was just so close you know third in state last year and then second this year he had, he had a great career as a spartan yeah no doubt i wonder uh i wonder if dr cox would have his overall high school record i mean it's probably pretty Pretty yeah, good. It's probably pretty high. Very, very good. Um, <laughs> but I talked to him afterwards. Uh, he wasn't. It, he didn't sound too upset. I'm sure he was. You know, yeah. emotion is a huge thing in that sport. Um, but I talked to him and he just kind of laughed it off and he said that that kid was on something. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was pretty funny. You know, that kid was chasing. Jesse was chasing one state title. That kid just wanted to complete his uh, his legacy, yeah. and you know that's very hard to beat when you're that motivated to uh, to do something like that. Four so, straight state titles. That's impressive. That's very impressive. We Jacoby Jackson won two. Um, Corey Peterson won one. Colton King won one. I don't know if we've ever had. Someone at Smat do win four straight. I don't believe so. I've seen I've seen three personally, but um, you know, Dr. Cox's brother Jaden Cox was one of them to do it uh, back in the day. Um, but it's definitely a feat, and not many people can say that they've done. Yeah. So, you know, props to him. But unfortunate for Jesse that we. Uh, he couldn't bring home a state championship. So, all right. Any any final thoughts? And just a great season from all three sports, I'd say. Yeah, excited for spring. You know, lax, Kyle. Cross is coming up. Baseball's coming Baseball, up. Baseball, their uh, their staff looks really good. Yeah, from very a pitching excited aspect. for uh, for the the baseball team this year. Yeah, with Coach Canvan. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, it's looking up. And uh, they should have a very successful season. Mm -hmm. Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate, Ultimate. Frisbee. Can they, they, they get it great. Got, can they get it done again? Was it 14 and 15 years. Yeah, can I they, think, can from they the do state it? Title department. Looking to go back to back again yeah. after the loss. Our junior year. No, we no, won. No, oh, sophomore won year. Excuse me. Did we play? We couldn't play sophomore. It was it was oh. it was your wow, freshman year. Weird, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's so I guess 14 and 16 years. 14 and 15 seasons, 14 yes. and 16 yes. years. That's, that is it, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so they're the they, the, the, they the, might. I mean, they're as successful as a program can get right I mean, there. Yeah, almost. Yeah. That's, that's a dynasty. It's like right a UConn there. women's <laughs> basketball <laughs> team right there. All right. Well, well, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to episode six. We will see you next Monday. Um, TBD. So. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, thanks for tuning in. in. Uh, we'll see you guys later.